Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel and here we are with another Twinmotion new release video showing you some of the coolest features of Twinmotion 2025.1. You can see the next part of the project I want to talk about is configurations. So in my kind of lake house, there's a little bit going on here. We've got a bit of a kind of party weekend happening and these guys are just sort of chilling out. But what I really want to do is communicate some different furniture, lighting and ambience options. And I'm really keen to show you how easy this is with the latest Twin Motion. Okay, so we're going to introduce one of our dynamic skies and let's just sort of get the kind of external vibe and the scene right for our ambience here. So I think that looks really cool. I'm going to just tweak the time of day a little bit and you can see the shadows coming into the building in real time. Okay, fantastic. So now let's go down to our views and we'll hide our library for a second. And what we'll do is we'll pop down to the media dock and we'll have a look at these configurations together. So just before I do that though, I do want to just render my image out a bit later and always set that at 4K. Okay, fantastic. So we're ready to look at these configurations now. So pop down to your media dock and you'll see that at the end of the dock is a new button called configurations. Now there's actually four types of configurations we can create. The very first one I'm going to do is a materials configuration, which I think is a really useful one. So you can see at the moment, we've got this kind of nice kind of uh, stone marbly floor. So what I'm gonna do is basically just swap this out and create some material configurations of that different flooring. Okay, so if we just go over to our materials tab, I think I'd like to try a really nice kind of like a wooden floor. So that looks really great. Um, I'd like a bit more shine. So I'm just gonna go down to the roughness and make that a bit more shiny. And all I need to do is click the plus sign. So now I've got two configurations immediately. So let's try a different type of flooring. Once again, let's get a little bit more shine on that and click on the plus sign down in the middle to generate a third configuration. And finally, I'm just gonna keep playing around until I'm happy with another configuration. So now I should have four different material configurations that I can play with really, really rapidly. Now you can see that down on the screen itself, if you zoom in to the configurator, you can actually create a screenshot or capture a thumbnail. So this is a really, really great way for you to change the material, recapture the thumbnail of each different variant and option, and you can see that immediately displays nicely on the screen there. Now, if you do actually want to, you can go down to the configurator itself and generate what they call a list view. And here we are now in full screen. When I click on my little button, it comes up with the configurations. And while I'm in full screen, I could just change through those four material options in real time. You know, architects and interior designers, and of course, landscape designers will find this kind of work unbelievable. So I think configurations are a massive bonus for Twinmotion. Now let's go ahead and rename this configuration flooring just by right clicking and renaming. And this time I'm gonna go down and do something else, which is a visibility configuration. So let's click plus, let's set up a visibility configuration. So the default is that it will just basically record everything as is. So what I'm gonna do is just go down and select my chairs. Okay, I'm gonna make a copy of those chairs. So let's make a copy of them so that I can do some clever tricks and replace them in a second. So basically, if I just do a copy and paste, I'll be able to basically replace them. I'm gonna do a copy with the instances or rather copies. And then basically, I'm just gonna drag that up a bit and replace them. A really quick, easy way to do this is right click, replace them, and then drag in uh, another chair. So let me skip ahead a little bit and show you how I've set up these configurators so that we can swap out the different types of furniture as well. So here you can see, if I click on my chairs configurator, I've got three different options currently. So here's the first one. There's the second one with these nice wire chairs and there's the more straightforward chairs as well. So very, very easy to do. Just turn on and off the various visibility states of the objects in the model. So again, once again in full screen, I do like the way you can change the little icon and bring up this list view so that when you're navigating around, you know, you can actively sort of uh, change things for the client as you're showing them your presentation. So wonderful. Now let's move on to the final configurator I want to show on this particular video, which is an ambience configurator, as you can see down at the bottom. Now, the nice thing with the ambience configurator, it kind of goes back to where we started. 
in that it basically links in with also the ambience and the dynamic skies. So with this first state, I'm going to go for that golden hour look and click on the plus sign. For my second state, I'm going to go down to uh, another one of the options here and we'll make some changes. Perhaps we'll go for the kind of rainy day. You can see and it's going a bit more towards the night time. So again, we'll make a state by clicking the plus sign on the configurator. So this is how easy it is to literally create four different views of my twin motion scene using the ambience, but also combining that with dynamic skies, the volumetric clouds, and the new configuration options available in twin motion. So I think you'll agree these are wonderful options here. So now I can go through, um, let's just go into that full screen mode. I've got my really nice variants for the different chairs. I can also combine that with the configurators for the ambience as well and flick through those. And I think it just is a really great feature that you're going to want to explore. I'm definitely sure I'll be using this again in my projects to communicate with my clients, my different options for designs, and also just to express those different sort of environmental options and ambience, which is something really where the magic comes alive with Twinmotion as well. I do like the way that the configurations have been done. I think Twinmotion have really thought carefully about developing this very, very well. And they really are a very nice ad asset that we have now in the software. So the fact we can just rename these and save them is wonderful. Now, these don't yet feature in the Twinmotion cloud, as far as I know, but I'm sure that this will be a killer feature when it comes. Now, do remember the cloud function of Twinmotion is only for page users, not for the free um, membership, if you like. So if you are interested in getting the full version with the cloud, do reach out to me. I'm a reseller for Twinmotion and I can help not just only with the software, but also for training as well. Okay, so we're gonna take a look at one more type of configuration, which I think you'll really enjoy. So make sure you hang around until the end of the video to understand how powerful this is. Okay, so the next kind of configurator we're going to do is to deal with lighting. Now, again, I'm going to do this through a visibility uh, configurator. What I'm really doing is dragging in a number of different lights into the scene. And you can see that I can enable or disable those lights before I kind of either right click and update the configurator or basically create a new one. So if I do want to refresh, I just click on the little kind of round button to refresh that scene. I can also adjust that lighting in terms of its position and things like brightness as well. So let's drag in a couple of spotlights for this particular configurator. Um, let's copy that across. So for this one, I want all the lights on. I want to turn them off and just update on that second one there. And on the first one, I'll also turn them off. So we're, you know, really in the dark on that very first one. So check out my three configurations. I've got one with that nice lighting over the table. My second one has the spotlights and the neon light coming on over the kitchen bar as well. And I can just rename that configurator lighting. So again, very, very straightforward. Let's pop over to the uh, main panel as well. And what we can do is just go down for our trigger, choose a really nice kind of appropriate item for the lighting. They've got some good presets, but you can always create your own as well. And if you do want to, now you can see in full screen, I've got the wonderful three configurations. So the first one is let's turn some lights on and I can come basically scroll through that by clicking. This isn't a list view, so it doesn't pop up with the different options. I just click it three times to access those three lighting options. The second one is a list view for the ambience. As you can see, I can modify the ambience and the time of day and the weather outside with a single click now, which is just wonderful. And finally, I've also got the configurations of, of course, my furniture, as well as the flooring as well, if I do want to change that. So what do you think, guys, about the configurations in Twinmotion? Personally, I think they've been really well implemented. They're straightforward. They're quite simple to use, but extremely powerful. Now, I will make some videos on how we can use this as designers and architects externally so that you can show your client different material options as well which I think will be super powerful. But I love the way they work, uh, no matter where you are in the project, especially when you're in full screen mode. So I really hope you've enjoyed today's video. It's been a really great fun one to make, and I'm absolutely loving Twinmotion at the moment with the new updates. So make sure you do look around and subscribe to my channel. There's loads of videos here for you, and I'll be sure to making lots more soon.
Thank you so much for watching. And if you are new to the channel, please have a look at my members section. I'd be love it if you were to join and support the channel. It's a really great way to express your support for Jonathan Reeves CAD, and it really encourages you to make lots more videos for you. Now do reach out for professional teaching and training. I've been using Twinmotion for a number of years now and teaching it at a very high level. I've also written a book on Twinmotion as well, if you're interested. So reach out for training and I will give you a free copy of that Twinmotion book for this wonderful software. So take care everybody. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.